<laughs> oh man, whoever thought I'd be standing on snow in the Himalayas in India. Sometimes at points like these I just I get a little bit emotional, you know I Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today we are going to Sisu in Lahal in India. Today's going to be another amazing day. We're going to be exploring a town, trying new food, seeing what's about. Behind me we've got the magic Himalayan mountains. Already good vibes. Today's just going to be awesome. So strap yourselves in for this one. I am super excited. My levels of energy are up right now. As I mentioned in the last video, I suffered from food poisoning, which turned out to be salmonella. I'm feeling pretty much 95% now. So let's get this video started and enjoy this amazing country of India. So the truck in front of us has snow on it. <laughs> How's that? Damn, the things you see when you travel around. Man, you know, when you travel, get out of your hotel, go for a drive. Travel is about experiencing new things. You're not just going to experience the stuff that's outside your hotel. You know, people go to Thailand and the first place they go is Phuket and what do they do? They just sit in their hotel the whole time and go to the beach or just laze around in the pool, but there's so much more to see. So it's always a reminder just to get out there. It's all frozen. We've just stopped off for a bit of lunch. A uh, lunch? Is it lunch time? Yeah, like uh, yeah, lunch, it is. snack, lunch, whatever. Yeah, so we've just stopped off for a bit of lunch and um, We've got here dumplings with chili sauce. Yeah. And mayonnaise. So we're gonna give these ones a try and um, see how they are. This looks like an extra chili paste just here. So that's yeah. hot. Ketchup. Yeah, that's ketchup. But the views are absolutely amazing. But let's give this a try. We've got mayonnaise and a little bit of chili sauce on it. Mmm. Oh wow, so the outer texture is like quite a thick, um, you'd say like pastry type thing for the dumpling. And then inside has got chicken, nice and tender. Mmm, lovely. So we've just stopped off for a little uh, rest break. The boys are just using the restroom. But I just wanted to show you something that I found super fascinating here. So check this out. Here we have fresh drinking water. It's straight from the mountain. So, and all of these you can find all along the road. So people wash their hands with the water, drink out of it, and it just constantly flows, right? Constantly just flows down here and yeah, like if I want I could drink out of it right now I'm not going to because I'm still sort of just um, Still getting over my stomach bug, but um Yeah, I just found that really fascinating like you can just drink 
water from the side of the road and it'll be fine because it's so fresh from the mountains. And as you can see here, this waterfall, um, I'll zoom in, but the waterfall just here, that's pretty much the same water that you're seeing here. And another fascinating thing I wanted to show you, as you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt, right? But over here, all of these white patches here on the same level, that's snow. And it's not going to melt because at night it gets so cold here. Bloody horns. At night it gets so cold here that the snow melts really, really hard. And then during the day, it slowly melts. And then once night hits again, it freezes again. So you can stand on the snow and still be wearing a t-shirt and it's like completely normal, which is so weird. Another thing that you see on Another thing that you see a lot here is people actually have stones to hold down the tin on the roofs. They don't actually use screws or anything because most of the um, most of the houses are made by brick. So it's also a cheaper alternative to just get stones from around to hold down the tin roof, which is something that I haven't really seen in many countries except for India. Another thing here in India is utilize space where you can. Put tables and chairs on top of your roof because why not? If you can, just do it. So we're just coming up to a bridge now to take some Instagram photos. Classic, um, classic touristy thing to do. But behind me, you can see uh, labor camps. Now I believe that people are working up in the mountains, either collecting rock or snow to transport to other places but um yeah the condition in these camps probably isn't the best um they would be bathing in the river and um yeah you can see the chimneys um inside the tents it's pretty sad to see you know it brings you back to reality that not everyone lives in four walls of brick and um comfort you know, this is the reality. Sometimes people live like this. So it's important when you travel to see this, embrace it. And um, yeah, just realize how lucky you are. Sometimes I feel like in the West that we forget how lucky we are. You know, we complain about our day-to-day -day life of these small little problems that, that shouldn't even matter, you know. And then you see people living like this. So. Yeah, it's just important to be grateful sometimes, I think. And that's something that I'm constantly reminded of when traveling. But yeah, I hope me sharing this reminds you that we should be very grateful for what we have. Even though this bridge is made of metal, it actually moves. You can feel it because it's cable strung. The bridge actually moves. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit dodgy. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh my gosh. So as you can see here, these flags, they're the Tibetan flags. And I mentioned this in my previous video. When China was taking over Tibet, India opened up their borders and let them come in. And sort of all around this area, Tibetan people have settled. And they put up their flags to show pride and, you know, free Tibet and all, all that sort of movement, which I think is great. And the flags are so colorful and nice to see, and you'll see it along most bridges um, up here in this region. So yeah, that's, that's, that's really, really special and cool to see that they bring their culture to another country.
was saying before about the <laughs> snow, we're actually coming up to it now and I am very excited because I just can't get my head around how I'm wearing a t-shirt and there's snow right there and it hasn't melted. I don't know, like, do you find that weird? Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Wow, it's still really frozen. What the hell? Wow. Damn, that's so cool. <laughs> oh. Man, whoever thought I'd be standing on snow in the Himalayas in India. Dude. Sometimes at points like these, I just, I get a little bit emotional, you know, I, when I was working my full-time desk job, I was bored, I wasn't happy, I want, and I really wanted to see the world, and now this is what I'm doing, and to experience things like this, like, this is the first time I've seen, actually, this is the first time I've stood on natural snow in my life, I've, I've seen natural snow, snowing but it never made a blanket um that was 12 years ago when i saw natural snow but yeah wow um yeah i'm a little bit lost for words you know this is why i come to travel to experience new things like this and to to take it in and be in the moment and be present after I shoot this piece, I'm going to turn off the camera for a little bit and just soak in where I am. Man. Like, I tell you, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what I'm seeing now. I'm seeing the Himalayas, I'm seeing people living up in houses in these mountains. I'm smelling the freshest air you can smell. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. I'm standing on snow. Right in front of me is farmland and local people over here, local people over here are farming. And I'm the, I'm the only, I'm, a, I'm the only white dude for miles. I haven't seen any other white people for ages which it doesn't matter, nothing about race, but, you know, it's just, I'm so far away from home, yet I'm having the time of my life. It's so important to experience, oh shit, I nearly slipped then. It's so important to experience new things like this. I can't stress it enough. And yeah, these it's these new experiences won't last forever. I won't be home I won't be away from Australia forever. There's going to be a time when I go back, settle down, get married, have kids and do all of that. But for now, while I'm young, why I don't have any commitments or or anything like that, it's the best time to go out and see the world. And you know, people called me crazy for going out in the middle of a pandemic to start traveling, to start a YouTube channel. Oh, Jack, it won't work. Oh, Jack, you're crazy for traveling during COVID. Jack, you're going by yourself. Are you nuts? What about your mental health? It's gonna be hard to make friends. No one else is traveling on the road. How are you gonna make money, Jack? How are you going to keep a budget? Traveling's expensive. Well, I've beaten all those odds so far. It's been over three months now of me traveling continuously. And I hope to get to the end of the year before I even make any money off YouTube. But the good news is that I'm 75% of the way to get YouTube's approval for me to start earning money from their platform. So I think in another month or so, I'll be start to get paychecks from YouTube, which is just gonna be making everything more worth it. So yeah, that was a four and a half minute rant. I might have to cut that down a little bit. But yeah, I just thought I'd open myself up to you guys and just let you know that sometimes these things hit me for real. And 
yeah, sometimes I'm just a bit lost for words. Also, sorry if this audio is bad with the wind. Um, I'll see how it is in the footage. Hopefully it's not too bad, but yeah. My India vlogs are going to be raw and real. Not fancy pantsy, highlight reel, fake Instagram BS. It's gonna be real, raw, next to a wooden stone fence that took forever to build with heavy rocks. <laughs>